All right, we on 87th Street. It's like the center, well, back where well, I just came from, like the center of gravity, 87th Street. 87th and exactly, I couldn't tell you where. Michigan, 87th of Michigan. And I'm rolling through the hood. I really should clean my window so you can see what's really happening. We're gonna talk about the same old thing. Clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods with excellent schools. Clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods. You know what, that, you know, we had these civil rights organizations which is, man, you know what? I was uh, looking at a Blogging Heads television show with uh, Glenn Lowry. And, uh, man, I forgot the other guys. The John McWerther with Mortar. Let me get back to that. But the point of the public intellectuals discussion on Blogging Heads TV with Professor Glenn Lowry is that, you know, we so-called Negroes, African Americans, what we want to call ourselves, some people want to call themselves biracial because black ain't cool. Some people love black, some folks don't like being black. We just, you know, that's their thing. But we can't, the civil rights era is long over. Long over. The black power days are long over. So African Americans have to, even these old heads who are still living uh, from the civil rights era, they have to chart a different course and really just pass the baton. Because some of them don't want to pass the baton. Some have, some just can't do it. This is King Drive, y'all. This is King, I don't even know where I'm at, but I'm on somewhere on King Drive. I think you can see it. Let me stop. King Drive. King Drive. Oh, 87th Street, I should turn back around. Okay, let me just figure out where I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm listening to WVON radio. Actually, the radio station down the street, I may roll past it. I was Perry Small and the caller. And Perry Small today is on the case. We love Perry Small. She talking about these parents. <laughs> you know, I'll get back to Glenn Lowry and John McWarther with McWarter. That's what I think that's the dude's name, McWarter. All right, we'll get back to them in a minute. But I like listening to Perry Small and WVON because Perry's real. And she tells it like it is. And, uh, and she's getting on these parents, which I don't think Perry has had any children when she was younger. I think she's uh, always been, uh, you know, a cosmopolitan woman. And nothing wrong with that because a lot of us should not have children. You know, let's face it, some people should not have children. And that's why I love talking about Frances Cross Wilson. She said years ago that uh, African Americans, black folks, whatever you want to call us now, we should uh, delay having children until we uh, 30 to 35 years old. 35 is kind of old, but then again, you know what I'm saying? I was 31 and 33 when my children were born, so, you know, she's probably right. I got to give her credit. I, I pushed it back to maybe 25 to uh, the 30. I was being nice, 25 to 30. I think I'm in a Burnside neighborhood, and this is Tule Park over here. I really should step by and do a little piece, but I don't think I have my tripod in the car. This is Tule Park. That's Tule Park. All right, King Drive. It's a nice neighborhood, but some folks got shot last year over here at the Church's Chicken. You know what? You can't find Church's Chicken in the black neighborhood, a white neighborhood. At least I ain't never seen one. <laughs> Maybe in your town, but not in Chicago. But uh, folks were shot and killed over here. It was really, really tragic. And folks, uh, you know, there's been a lot of murders. Even in Chatham. If I go just north of here, it's actually Chatham. But we're going to grow down 87th Street. And um, it's quite unfortunate. And people get us say, Mark, man, quit talking about the same old thing every week. No, we're going to talk, keep talking about it until we get this straight. Clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods with excellent schools. We have to find this small percentage of black women, African-American girls and grandmothers, women, girls, and grandmothers who are raising these children who cannot raise them properly. They need support, and they need our help to raise them properly. So this is what we got to do. This is what it's all about. You know, uh, the Seaway Bank up here. I think it's still black owned, <laughs> African American owned bank. We don't have too many African American owned banks. Uh, Illinois Service Federal was back there at King Drive in Stony Island. I mean, King Drive and uh, 87th Street. That was Seaway over here in the cottage. Uh, <laughs> his Rothschild Liquors, y'all know, if y'all drink is known by Rothschild Liquors. <laughs> Where was I? And back in the day, Cam and Nate's uh, shoe store used to be right here. Cam and Nate's, back, way back in the day with the Cam and Nate's record store. All of that. Should have taken a picture of it before they tore it down and put a bank there. You know, progress, time moves on. Now we're going down Cottage Grove. Cottage Grove. And so I'm going to roll through the neighborhood and see what's going on. Now where was I? You know, a few, uh, I don't know, maybe it was last year? I think last year. 
Uh, you look it up online, just type in, uh, Rahm Emanuel says 25% of African, no, 25% of children in the public school, not, not so much African American children, let me take that back. 25, and I like Rahm Emanuel, don't get me wrong, I met him twice, it's a long story, uh, maybe it isn't a long story, but I, you know, I, I like the guy. Because we need a tough mayor in this town, and uh, people get mad. You like Rahm Emanuel? And I said, what's the alternative? Y'all, see, that, that, let, me, so, let me go to these black power. These black power folks, they have missed the boat. That's what I was saying about the affirmative action. Affirmative action is, is passe. It's a global, international world we live in that really don't need Negroes, but they might give you a job if you got some kind of skill and education. Here we are. Okay, let me get back to Rahm Emanuel. Rahm Emanuel said about... Uh, 25% of uh, the public school students are well, won't, won't amount to anything. They said 25% of the uh, public school students. Now he's telling Karen Lewis. Karen Lewis currently is the board president of the Chicago Teachers Union. Chicago Teachers Union board president Karen Lewis. Okay, so Karen Lewis was talking, had a meeting, their first meeting, well, I think, when Rahm Emanuel became mayor last year. They had a meeting about you know this and that and how we gonna move the city forward, blah, blah, blah. We need more of these, we need more of these uh, black clubs. I can't say black clubs, that's what we need, black clubs. Oh, let me zoom in so you find to see the black club sign. See, we gotta see that. No speeding, loitering, no, 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 no. This is the black club. Man, they know the beat. Let me think, this is the fourth district beat. Man, they got me. Eighth ward, the state ward over here? Man, I ain't know that. I'm just rolling through. They got it going on here. Welcome to the Burnside community. That's what I'm talking about. You know, you wouldn't need a uh, black, club, black club if everybody did. They, um, you know, did what they're supposed to. But since they don't, we got to organize and get it together. This is like this. See, this is a new. These newer houses they bought, they built uh, a few years ago before the, the stock market and everything crashed. Okay, what was that? Karen Lewis and Rahm Emanuel. So, in the meeting between Karen Lewis and Rahm Emanuel, Rahm Emanuel said that, hey. Miss Lewis, Karen Lewis, pro, board, I mean, president of the Chicago Teachers Union. Let me tell you something. Twenty-five <laughs> percent of these kids in the public schools won't amount to anything. They won't become anything. And I'm not going. He says I'm not going to throw money at it. And on one level, I mean, on one level, you can sort of understand what the mayor is saying. I think this is Harold Washington Grammar School. Let me go around and make sure because I spoke here a couple of times when I used to speak to, in the <laughs> via the Black Star Project. But you know what? Uh, I didn't got so curmudgeon and whatnot, and I'd, be, I'd just be bringing it. So folks would tell me, you need to stop coming because you're bringing it too hard. Too hard for the kiddies. And the white teachers don't like, not some white teachers, I mean, most white teachers don't like when I bring it, when I bring it hard. Tell the kids the truth. Okay, you see I'm distracted. You see why I'm not on real TV. I got ADD. So let me finish the story about Karen Lewis. Because I know y'all screaming at me, but you know, it's all related. So he told Karen Lewis, hey, these kids ain't gonna amount to anything, they're not gonna become anything, and I'm not gonna throw money at it. And he's right to a certain to a certain extent. He absolutely is right. And Karen Lewis took issue, but hey, let's let's get real. We gotta get real. Some of these kids are not gonna amount to anything. But so the real issue is telling the parents how to parent their children. That's where the resources got to go. We gotta you gotta tell that mama. That mama who's 15 years old, if she oh, she's 25 years old, if she's 35 years old, she a 35 year old grandmama. This the bottom line. Most of the public school students in Chicago are not going to graduate from college, and there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, college ain't for everybody. Only about 28 to 30 percent of the country has a college degree. Okay, cool. We we get that. So college is not for everybody. But what is your plan, mama? So that's what Karen Lewis and, and uh, Rahm Emanuel should be doing, he should be trying to come to us and tell the, help these young girls, because they spend money, remember they spend a lot of money in the criminal justice system. They'll spend 30 grand to keep a brother in jail. And that call, like, <laughs> like Queen's sister said, it's crime by design. But the point is that, uh, Queen, we gonna get you back on the show. Queen mad at me because I ain't had her on the show in about a year. We gonna get her back. It take a lot, it take a lot of energy to deal with Queen, so we we bring her back. So Queen, I'm coming. I love you. Just give me a little time. Here's in front of the school. I think it's Harold Washington. And so uh, the point is that since we know 25 percent of the kids in the public school may not amount to anything, we should help. We should try to get the resources and some other human capital resources, if it ain't monetary resources, some human capital resources 
on, uh, you know, to help these mothers and these grandmothers raise these children properly. Harold Washington Elementary School. A lot of folks, man, weren't even around when Harold Washington was, was mayor. Harold Washington was great. I regret not meeting him, and then I didn't do a TV show back in the day to interview him. But this is a, it's not a bad school. You know, most schools about, I got to look up the, the research. Most schools are about the same. They are, uh, most CPS schools about, in the city, I mean, like in the, this neighborhood here, about half the kids read at grade level, doing pretty good and the other half are just average and you got maybe 20% or that 25% are below average. And parents got to be get real. They, you know, you got to, I mean, sometimes, you know, you got to come to parents and say, this, if you want your child, this, this is what Rahm Emanuel and Karen Lewis got to bring to these folks. If you want your child to be a doctor or lawyer, this is what you have to do as a parent. This is what you have to do as a parent if you want your kid to be a doctor or lawyer. You got this, mom and daddy? Grandma, if you want your, your child to be a professional, doctor, lawyer, nuclear biologist, or whatever, this is what you got to do as a parent. Yeah, okay, I had to turn the camera off. Folks, it's mean mugging me, <laughs> going through their neighborhood with a camera in my hand. I don't blame them. Say, who is you, Mark? You 5 -0? So, the, like I was saying, that, that Karen Lewis, uh, Chicago Teachers Union President, there's, there's the blue light camera, y'all. There it is, blinking. Karen Lewis of the CPS, I mean CTU, Chicago Teachers Union, and Rahm Emanuel Mayor, and Jean-Claude Brazard. Jean-Claude Brazard, they got to really, really bring it to these parents. And the mayor's got to take to these little girls, these, these, newborn, these, uh, these uh, new parents and new grandparents. If you want your child to be a, your grandchild or your child to be a professional, this is what you have to do as a parent or grandparent. Do you understand? This is what you have to do. If you ain't willing to do it, they may become something else, okay? If you want your child to be a police man, police woman, fireman, firewoman, become a streets and sand, bus, CTA bus driver, that's the Chicago Transit Authority bus driver. This is what you have to do if you want them to be, you know, work for the city or work for the CT, CTA. If you want your child to be a school, if you want your child to be a school teacher, this is what you have to do as a parent if you want your child to be a school teacher. I mean, we gotta bring it, man. I mean, I was talking to some, some of the fishers. Where, I don't even know what street I'm on. Where am I at, y'all? I'm over like at 893rd in Kingwood. I have no, man, as long as I live in Chicago for 50 years, I have never been over here. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> That's like that old joke when, uh, when the, uh, this is back in the day, like 40s, 50s, maybe 30s, whatever. And a white businessman come up to an African American, a Negro, from the South. So the uh, the white businessman in the old South goes to to the black guy. I mean, to the old Negro. We Negroes back then probably colored. Who knows, right? And they say, uh, uh, "Boy, uh, how do I get to uh, uh, Savannah?" And he said, "Sir, I really don't know." And they say, uh, well, boy, how do I get to Atlanta? <laughs> so, I really don't know. <laughs> and they say, well, boy, how do I get to Macon, Georgia from here? Uh, sir, I, I, I really don't know. And so the, the white businessman in the Old South said, you know, you was a dumb nigga. <laughs> or he could have said, you was a dumb Negro. And uh, and the brother says, uh, "Sir, I, I may be dumb, but I ain't lost." I'm over here in that Stony Island somewhere, man. I don't know where I'm at. Man, I'm in some kind of vortex, man. I done gone down the rabbit hole. So it's not good when you don't know the neighborhood, y'all. Man, I'm in some kind of vortex, man. I don't know where I'm at. I know I'm near Stony Island. That's all I know. Oh, here, here's Stony Island, right here, Stony Island. So where was I? <laughs> Karen Lewis, uh, Mayor of Chicago, Brahm Emanuel, and John Clark Bazaar, they gotta get real and try to, I mean, it takes resources. I know it takes money, but that's what the radio station, the TV station, everybody helps out. 